Yes, I am a giant nerd. Right. So, I just got a new computer and I haven't set up office properly. So, I'm just currently setting up office properly, which should be fun. Right, here we go. So, I am going to talk you through applying for a medical import license for Japan. That sounds really, really fancy, but all it is really is. If you need to import any medicines, Japan is very, very strict. Um, I shall show you. Dang it, I don't like this. Um, <laughs> I've been a PC user my whole life and I've just bought a MacBook. I know, very exciting. However, it, it does take a little bit of getting used to, especially when it's completely different to what I'm used to. Alright, so, in Japan, where is it? Yes, Japan uh, has very strict rules in place for taking medicine into Japan for personal use. Um, so they're classified in five categories, whether it's general, narcotic, psychotropic, stimulant, or medical device. Depending on the classification, name, and quality, quantity of the medicine, you may be required to apply for permission, certificate, etc., which you show at customs when entering in order to take that medicine into the country. Um, basically, it means that as long you know the basic medicines, um, for example, Panadol and birth control, um, you can take a month supply. If you need a more than a month, then you have to apply for a medical ins import license or um, yakan shomai, um, shomai, shomai, um, and they have to sort of uh, you know look at it, consider yes you can do it, and then give you the import license. So what I'll do is I'll link in the description box below the website that I used and the um, the forms that they have. It's really easy on there. And it's I thought it would be really difficult. I was stressing over it quite badly. Um, it actually turned out really, really easy. They said to allow a week. Um, so I was just like, oh, I'm not going to have enough time because I left it really late. It turned out it was, I emailed it. And they sent it back in a couple of hours, so um, yes, I was stressing out over nothing. But anyway, so what it is is just forms that you fill in. Like there's one, a cover form which I won't show you because it's got my personal details on it. And then you've got this one, which is just an explanation of the product. So this one is for paracetamol. So it says paracetamol, how how strong it is and everything, chemical names, the active ingredient. This I had to get a pharmacist to help me out with because yeah, I've got with some of my my medicines I've got the official box. Um a lot of them like the paracetamol. Um my chemist has got um pretty much generic their own branded boxes that they just shove um the sheets into so yeah, I can't always read the active ingredients because there's only so much information they can fit on the label. So this is what I had to do. And then, yeah, active ingredients, the intended use, which I didn't fill out for that one, whoopsie. Um, the efficiency, um, so really what it does, and your dosage, so pretty much what they got on the label of your medicines. For example, take two tablets up to four times daily, etc. for pain and fever. And then that's about it. And then any specifications. And then um, some medical cream that I need. Uh, Celecopsic is... Oh yeah, that's my um, anti-inflammatory because I hurt my wrist kind of often. I'm an idiot. Cetirazine for my cold tablets. Uh, iron tablets, which is, you know, the fun part of... Being a woman and birth control and then a doctor's letter as well just to say hey my patient um, needs to take these actually what did she say patient above are currently on the following medications regularly and will need to carry these for travel just pretty much a signed doctor's, doctor's certificate saying that you're not just making this up and then put it all together scan it through and what they'll do is they print off the front piece and they put a stamp on it and that's it, done and dusted. And here I was stressing over it, but it actually turned out really easy. Um, so hopefully um, me going through this will help you in the future when you're applying for your own. Um, but yeah, the main thing, especially for women, hey, 
all the girls. Um, yeah, birth control and Panadol um, because I've heard it can be very difficult to get birth control in Japan and also the fact that I'm working at a ski resort kind of out of town for three months. I'm going to need birth control. Um, the annoying thing for me as well with my birth control is that I've been using Ava 30 for a couple of years now and so I got all my paperwork for that and then when I got to the pharmacist for my my update because I've you know going away for so long I had nine months worth of medicine so I just updated my prescription more regularly than I needed to um, to sort of stock up I suppose um, yeah my last batch is an Ava 30 they've changed the brand and I'm just like oh, all my paperwork is for Ava 30 it's like this exact same ingredients but all my paperwork's for Ava 30 um, so hopefully they don't look too deeply into that but it's exactly the same product so Hopefully they just realised they changed the branding on me after I did the paperwork. Yay. But yeah, it's actually really simple. Um, so yeah, don't stress over it and best of luck.